Hello everybody, Hot Loof Waffles here. And today I wanted to make my first Gates of Hell video. Covering or more like reviewing, I guess, the anti tank guns for Germany in in this game. Um I'm not gonna do anything too fancy in this video, um, obviously. I'm just gonna do kind of my personal opinion on these guns and what they're good for and what they're good at. And just kind of give you an in, kind of give you a little information on uh, what to expect from each gun, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Uh, the first gun is a squeeze bore 2.8 centimeter light AT gun. It's honestly I think classified originally as an AT rifle, uh, but it uses squeeze bore, so it has really good penetration for what it is. I don't really ever see anyone use it, but. I personally don't don't really mind using this using this gun on defense. Uh, it's pretty. Good. We have a um, a little T26 1931 here. You know, one of those things you might see in your first or second conquest. And I'm just gonna showcase here. Um, here, let me get rid of the HUD here. It's it pins. <laughs> it's APCR, so it's not like it's gonna do a lot of damage once it pins. But you know. For what it is, uh, it's better than the, the AT rifle, I guess you could say, although you have to haul this thing around the battlefield. I believe it goes 8 kilometers an hour, so it's not terribly fast. I think it's on par with the light infantry gun 18. Yep, there you go. Hull break, I think. But yeah, as you can see, yep. It's 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 effective. You're not really going to get much more than killing those early war tanks like the T26s with it. Uh, BT2s maybe, um, but yeah, that's that's really about it. Uh, also, it has HE, which is useful for destroying trucks and cars and soft skin vehicles. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right, moving on. We have the 3.7 meter Pack 36. This one's free in conquest. You don't even have to research it. Oh, uh, you get APCR with this. Uh, I believe you get like what, six, 23 and 30. If I'm remembering correctly, yeah. Um, this is pretty basic. It's also useful against early tanks like the uh, T26, 1931. Uh, I don't really know why I have this one here. <laughs> it should be this. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let me switch players real quick. Uh, let's put some more tanks down, like a T-60. Uh, yeah, T-26s and like BT-7s, stuff like that. This is what you're going to be fighting in this, with, with this gun. This is what you're going to expect to destroy with these. Um, as you can see, I believe this thing has the same range. As the AT gun, 160, right? This thing is a 160 range. Yep, same range as the uh, squeeze bore. Uh, but yeah, this thing is effective at killing T26, BT7, BT5. That one's dead. And now it's really dead. <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 not bad. Nothing to really complain about. It's a really solid AT gun for what it is. I think it costs 200 in Conquest. A little expensive, but you know, it's, it's, you know, especially if you're playing hardcore economy. But I like it. It's not bad. Uh, I don't normally buy it because I usually just get a light infantry gun 18 and use the heat rounds on that to kill those tanks uh, because it's more versatile and it's better at killing infantry when they clump up. But still, nothing wrong with it. All right, next the 4.7 centimeter Pack 38T. This is a Czechoslovakian AT gun that was, I believe, captured by the Germans. I'm not familiar too much with it, but I do know that it is slightly better. You get some APCHE. Obviously, going to be very effective against early war tanks. We'll even throw some medium tanks out here. Let's see what we have here. T-34, 
T28s. <laughs> yeah, T28s. <laughs> That's pretty much what you'll see, I guess, for medium tanks before you see T30 T34s. It <laughs> pin the bottom plates of those. Uh, it can also pin the driver's port here, the plate. <laughs> driver. It can pin the turret on the T28s. Um, as you can see, here's the T28 1936, that's the E. But, uh, I think I went under. It's not bad. Uh, its max range, I believe, is slightly better than the 36, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 170, so you get 10 extra. 10 extra range on it, so it's not bad. Um, I personally don't really use this gun that much. Um, I just find myself skipping over it because the 5 centimeters is just better. But it's not bad, I guess. Uh, if you research it early on, it can be a really effective AT gun against these kind of vehicles here. Um, so yeah, overall, I would say it's decent. It's decent. Alright, 5 centimeter pack 38. This is a very helpful gun. For this, I think, is that a what is this one? Let me grab another one real quick. T thirty four seventy six nineteen forty. That's two eighty five. Alright, the 5 centimeter pack 38. And let's see, we get APCR. Yep, APCR, APHE, and HE. Uh, this is the 1940. The armor is the same, I believe, actually. I be uh, the turret armor is different as well. have a hard time pinning obviously. Um, T28s. T25s. A lot of sloped armor on these Russian tanks. So the front's going to be a little tough, but any of these tanks that are <laughs> are easily destroyed with a 5 centimeter. I like the 5 centimeter. It has saved my life a lot in Conquest. Um, obviously, when these kind of tanks in KV-1s, or the KV-1 is, KV-1 starts showing up, it starts getting a little rough, but it gets the job done. But then we come to the uh, 7.5 centimeter pack 9738. Uh, I think the 97 stands for eight model 1897. I think this is French. <laughs> and it fires a, a heat round that the, the Germans put in it. And uh, obviously, the carriage is German and an added muzzle brake for recoil. <clears throat> I like this gun. And I'm going to show you why I like this gun. <laughs> this gun is good at killing very early on. <clears throat> it also has really good HE if I can load it sorry oh, there goes the ammo on that one like I said this, is, this is really good <laughs> this thing is at obliterating infantry and killing T-34s I rate this thing great <laughs> I love this thing um, obviously it's not better than the pack 40 but ooh. Comparing this thing to the 5 centimeter, I don't know, man. This the heat rounds on this thing are just are great. Obviously, the heat is gonna struggle when there's uh, your tanks. The enemy tanks are kind of sloped at you, give, you know, having a little angle. For example, actually, I'll just show you. It's like a really steep slope here. Oh wow! It's like. <laughs> 
I believe that's still there. Yeah, this is amazing, honestly. <laughs> I love, I love Pack 9738. It's really good. Alright, let's get rid of some of the carnage so we can actually, like, see what we're doing here. Alright. We're about to get to a fan favorite. The Pack 40. This is a uh, 75 centimeter anti-tank gun. It is my favorite anti-tank gun besides the 88. It is a T-34. <laughs> Obviously, Valentine is going to... It'll just eat these things for breakfast. Hope there is a bounce. We up right to the engine. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. And, like I mentioned earlier, here is the range for the Pack 40 compared to the other guns. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this 9738. The downside compared to the 5cm is it has less range. A little bit less. This is the difference between the two. Here's the, uh. Here's the uh, 9738, I believe. Or here's the 9738, and here's the 5 cm. 5 cm has more range, obviously, because velocity. Um, but yeah, there's something I forgot to mention. Anyways, back to the pack 40. Uh, this thing kills kills Germans. Here's a uh, KV-85. KV-85. It's it's just so good. I don't have anything else to really say about it. This thing's amazing. The HE is also amazing. As you can see, it's just great. <laughs> Here's the range. So any of these tanks out here are in range. Look look at that. I mean, you can't even see the fog of war, but... Well, not the fog of war, but with the view distance. You, it's very far. You can kill tanks very far away. Um, also, f for those of you who don't know, the closer the tank is, the easier it's going to be to penetrate the armor. So... It's obviously going to be a lot harder because of the accuracy. Uh, no, I think that just penetrated. Yep, that just pinned the bottom of the turret, the turret ring there. KV ones, no problem. Just aim for the front plate, and if they <laughs> have their side towards you, even better. Instant ammo rack. Ten out of ten. One of my favorite AT guns. All right, here's the 88 Pack 43, 41. There's really not much to say about this gun. It's amazing. <laughs> it here is a uh, IS2 1945, and obviously it has really decent sloped armor. In the front. We get a pin right there. This is one of the stronger tanks in the game. Um, but here we go. Dead. <laughs> No questions asked. KV-1, early KV-1, obviously. Gone. This is the same gun that's on a Nash Horn and Tiger 2, by the way, so... When you see those tanks in the game, just know that they have awesome guns. Really, really awesome guns. I love this thing. I believe this is actually by Krupp. that one out. I believe this is Krupp. I believe this was made by Krupp in response to a flat gun made by Ramatol, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it's just awesome. It kills all kind of tanks. Doesn't really matter. It has the longest range out of all of them. This is the flag. This is the Pac-40. A good bit longer range. Really amazing penetration. Overall, just an awesome AT gun. Uh, obviously this is really expensive and it's really far down the tech tree if you're playing Conquest. The Pack 40 is also pretty far down the tech tree, which is why I find myself using the 5 centimeter and the 9738 a lot. Um, especially the 9738 because of the HE and the uh, heat rounds that are just godly. Um, but uh, yeah, I use these guns a lot until I'm able to actually afford using these guns later on in Conquest. 
and multiplayer as well, these guns cost more, especially that. I believe this is a Doctrine AT gun, if I remember correctly. Might be for defense and s something else, I don't really remember. I'm not too familiar with the Doctrines yet. But yeah, this these are obviously harder to get, a little more expensive, so I find myself using these a lot more. Um, but yeah, that's just a basic overview of these AT guns. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like and comment if you want to give any feedback. If I said anything just terribly wrong or something like that, just feel free to shoot me a comment or, or a text or anything like that. It's fine with me. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed.